So there's lots of videos on YouTube about how to repair a black water tank or a gray water tank for your fifth wheel coach. And uh, the reason there's so many videos is there's so many leaking tanks. And that's not a good thing. In a semi-communal living situation like RVers, there's nothing worse than uh, seeing your neighbors give you that look and you try to pretend that that's not your poop tank they're smelling. Or uh, I've had a situation where the gray water tank leaked and uh, pretty soon it's dripping out the, the belly pan that's underneath the trailer. Uh, that's not a good thing. So I got investigating that and I started looking at different ways to repair these tanks and there's some very good ways. And I'll show you in just a minute how I repaired my tank. But what's more important than repairing the tank, I think, is fixing the problem. And so I've got an idea for that. I'm gonna be implementing that today and I'll show you what we're doing as we go along here. Here are the two tanks under the trailer. Uh, and some of the problems are, well, for one thing, uh, this whole run of pipe right here is completely unsupported. It's just hanging from that nozzle where it goes into the tank right here. So as you're going down the road and you're hitting bumps, this thing, whole thing is just wanting to shake and uh, it starts to crack there. But that's not the biggest part of the problem. You notice right up here how this tank is mounted. All they do on these, that... Uh, ABS tank has a flange on the top and they basically just put two pieces of angle iron and there you can see how that angle iron is screwed into this other iron and it just holds the tank up from that little flange so you got quite a bit of gap there where that thing can move and flex uh, same on this other side but now when you look in the middle you can see something a little worse because when you see that flange here notice that where the one that bolts up the other side goes uh, they're not the same height. So this one is held up pretty tight to the floor of the coach. This one is hanging down. And you can just move this whole thing. Let's see if I can shift myself here. You can move this whole thing up and down. See that? It's just jumping, flopping. Now, if I go down the road in this, it's constantly hammering itself. If I go down the road with any liquid at all, uh, you've got 400 pounds just suspended from this fairly soft tank and it's bouncing up and down on those two little rails which aren't tight and uh, it's bound to cause problems and so where most people are getting issues is right in here and also along this top flange. I had cracks on the top flange and sometimes even where the this top cap is glued on will come apart so it's important not to overfill these tanks but uh, looking at this you can see the repair I did I used a product called fairing repair and there's a good video on YouTube about using fairing repair it's a direct apply ABS product that uh, ABS welds right to this tank and it makes a really nice repair so I use this every place that I had a problem I use it on both tanks both these tanks had the cracking here and like I mentioned some up on the corners uh, but it did a really nice repair job of that so as far as repairing the tank and all the research I did that seemed to be the best way for the nicest repair uh, and the simplest repair, but other individuals said that uh, just a year later it had cracked again. Well, if you haven't solved the problem, that's going to do that. So in order to solve the problem, what I decided to do is get some uh, water tank strapping. And uh, I've gone back underneath on this rail, and I made two of these brackets. I just got some quarter inch square stuff and bent these two brackets. Don't judge me on my welding. And I welded them onto this right here. So what I'm going to do is take a water tank strap. I've, I've drilled four holes in this rail. Let's see if I can see that hole. There we go. Four uh, holes for quarter inch bolts. So I'll bolt up one end of that water tank strap to that hole. It's going to come along underneath the tank and it's going to go up and through this bracket and underneath this next tank right here and back up to the quarter inch hole on the opposite side. So once I tighten that up, what that's going to do is, is that band is going to physically lift this tank up, hold it firm to the bottom, not let it bounce around. So still, I think after seeing how these are built, I'm not going to travel with liquid in the tank anymore, uh, ever, if I can help it. But I think that having this strapped up, and then if I fasten this up, there's a... Uh, the angle iron right above it has some slots so I can easily put a strap around this and plumber's tape to keep this from shaking and I think I can keep this thing well secured so that I won't have this problem again. 
So I'll go ahead and start this repair uh, or the uh, retrofit and I'll show you what it looks like as we go. This is what I put together for my repair kit. I got this uh, quick strap water heater strap set. Uh, you can get these in all different sizes. I know they're readily available in California because we have to strap our water heaters here. Uh, but that comes with these clips which go Simply they go inside that slotted end of the strap, the two slotted ends come together and you're able to uh, bolt that together. Now it comes with the nut and the washer for that, but what I did is I replaced uh, that nut. I got one that's a self locker because once I get this together and this thing's all buttoned up underneath the uh, wintertime uh, seal sheet, I do not want to have to get back to it. So I'll make sure that doesn't back off. So this kit comes with four straps. Uh, four pieces, uh, two of them make one strap. In my case, it's got to pretty much go across most of the width of the uh, coach. So, uh, bought it long, I'll cut off what I need to. And then we also got this um, rubber here. And what this is, is uh, gas tank strapping rubber for semi trucks. So you see how the, the side tanks are mounted on a semi truck. Uh, basically the strap goes through that. I'm gonna put these straps through that so that the metal isn't chafing on the bottom of my tanks. Now I think that's going to hold these tanks up without moving for the long term. So the first of my two brackets is in. There you can see where I put the quarter inch bolt into the rail. The, the, in the quarter inch hole I drilled. Here is the strap that I used. And you remember before I showed you how loose this tank was when you try to push it up and down. So now as you'll see it is tight. It does not move up here at all. So I strapped it up tight, went through my bracket. You can see how these two parts go. They go in from the back side with the two hooks. This pulls together. When I started tightening this one, it was all the way out here. I cinched it up that much. It was actually, this, this uh, slot here was over that hole. That's how much it pulled in from this side and brought that tank up. And so here you see something that's got the tank cushioned, supported, and securely fastened. Now we'll move on to doing the last one. So here we are now with the front set, about ready to go tightened up. And uh, you can see how it feeds up through the little loop I made. And a uh, little bracket attaches to the other side. It's kind of loose. I brought my stuff over. Here's where the two pieces come together. So. Uh, this bracket goes in and actually as this pulls tighter this wants to come forward and so that just increases the tightness of that bracket um, and so I will now tighten this up and we should gain quite a bit on that you can see where it's at before I started and so what I've had to do is trim well on that side I used one of the original stock holes and on this side I shortened it up to where it was going to meet and drilled a new hole um, and then I trimmed these off to where they're just going to come together um, and it will allow this to work. So I will show you just shortly what that looks like. And so there it is, all tightened down. That's about as much as she's going to tighten up on this one. You don't want to crush the tank. You just want to get it nice and supported on these corners. And of course the middle, it doesn't matter. They're, they're fairly soft tanks. In the middle they move. Uh, the outside is more rigid and that's where you really want to hold. So this again you can see there how this is a good three-eighths of an inch lower than the other one. And that's how much low this tank was. And so now, see it doesn't move at all. It's all the way up tight uh, against the, the bottom of the floor. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. So nice and tight. Not going to bounce around. So the idea is not just to fix your leak, but to solve the problem. So I think this is going to do it. Uh, if it doesn't work out, I'll come back and let everybody know. But it's something you can give a try. Uh, it's a pretty cheap fix, I think. It just takes a little bit of time.